welcome back to my channel. So it is that time of month again, I will be unboxing the September Glossy Box. Now, it's a bit late, um, a couple of reasons why. Um, I'm going to be doing a whole video on why I'm late doing this video, which is a whole nother story. But um, Glossy Box were again late dispatching these boxes. So I have only had mine for about a week. Um, so even though I am late posting this, um, I have only had it for a week and I know a lot of people have had it sort of like a week before me. But still, it's late. Yeah, not great. I know a couple of the last Glossy Boxes have been late. They did dispatch their birthday box early because of boxes going out late, but I don't know, maybe just move the dispatch date to later in the month. I don't know, but I know they do have to put one out for Christmas, like with the advent and stuff. So it doesn't really bother me too much, but I guess if they're promising to get it out by a certain date, it needs to. But with them having deliveries every single month, you can forgive them, like. So the box this month is no special theme in terms of the design of the box. It's just a standard pink glossy box, but the theme of the box inside is pure relaxation. Now, the first thing I noticed when I opened this box was that I didn't have a product card. And I don't know if it's because I have a slightly different box to the others and whether um, when they got all the product cards printed, they didn't have um, enough products or something to dispatch with all the boxes. So I've ended up with a different product to all the product cards that are online. But if you do ever find that you don't have a product card, you can usually find the link online. But I've looked through them and none of them are mine. So I'm guessing that they ran out of the products in the boxes and then they couldn't give me a product card because it didn't have the same products. I don't know, or maybe they ran out of product cards, but I don't have one. So um, I'm just gonna use the product card online to read through all the other products that I have that are on those cards. And then I found a description of the other product that is different. So we'll get through it. So first up in this box, which more than makes up for it being late, is a Lindor Lint, well Lint Lindor bar. And if you haven't had these before, Four, I suggest you go out and get one because they are insane. They're like the Lindor balls, but just a bar form. And I've had them in glossy box before and I went straight out to buy some because they are that good. So I'll probably, after this video, pop downstairs and have a cup of tea and eat this. Next up is this dual cleansing spa brush. And it has two sides, as you can see, there's a silicon rubbery end and then a brush end. And I cannot tell you how soft these bristles are. They feel so nice. And this is from a company called Spa To You and it retails for 16.49. So it says that this dual headed multi-use brush is the only at home pamper tool you need with an exfoliating brush on one side and an ultra soft fine bristle brush on the other, this cleansing brush helps to cleanse pores and remove makeup and masks. That's handy, I always find it a pain like when you're trying to get a mud mask off. It also gently massages your face at the same time giving you that post facial feeling. Next up we have a product from Vitamasks and this is one of the brands in the advent calendar. It's a pearl sheet mask. So it's a moisturizing Korean face mask made with extracts of pearl to brighten your skin. I believe I have used a pearl face mask I think it was from Primark. So this retails for $4.99 and it says, boost dull and tired skin with this radiance evoking sheet mask. Combining chamomile, centella and pearl powder, this mask and its skin loving serum intensely moisturizes whilst also providing antioxidant and inflammatory protection that shields against redness and brightens lackluster skin. Next up is a product from Figs and Rouge and we have actually seen them in glossy books before. We have received a primer from them in the past but this is their Wonder Love Clarity Skin Perfecting Serum Drops and this retails for a whopping £42. So if I get it out of the box, just to show you, it's this gorgeous, like pale, kind of minty, kind of, I'd say pale sage green. And let me see what it's about. Wow. 
Okay, it's not really got much of a scent. It's very subtle. It's quite like creamy, if that makes sense. But I don't know if it will show up on camera, but it is this gorgeous iridescent -y green serum. If mermaids had a face serum, this would probably be it. Very subtle scent, it's very creamy. So it says, a sublime lightweight and micro refining serum, these drops will help uncover your skin's natural clarity. This radiance inducing and pore refining formula gently exfoliates, I could feel the exfoliating in it, and unclogs pores whilst ensuring your complexion is clear and free of breakout, breakouts and blackheads. Your skin will have never felt so soft or refreshed. And feeling that on the back of my hand, it's actually dried down really, really nicely. It hasn't left any sticky residue and it's soaked into the skin lovely. Next up, another product from Skin & Co, which is their Truffle Therapy range. Now, again, we've seen one of their products in Glossy Box before. We did have their cleanser before and it was okay. Um, I found it was a little drying. It was very like soapy on the skin you know where it feels like it strips your skin um so it wasn't that hydrating but i didn't mind it so this one again is made in italy and it is their face gommage so it is a polishing micro exfoliating truffle face gommage I think I'm saying that right. So the product card says, erase dullness and embrace your skin's natural shine. This delicate exfoliating cream boosts a rich texture and soothing fragrance whilst also featuring a blend of sweet almond oil, gentle apricot seed powder, and the brand's unique and exclusive black winter truffle extract. Working together, these powerful free radical scavengers reduce, sorry, that word scavengers just threw me off, reduce multiple unwanted signs of aging. So this is a deluxe mini, 20 mil worth three pound and the full size is 150 mil worth 21 pound 60. So I'm interested to try this. Um, was unsure what I thought when I heard almond seed extract just because, no apricot seed extract, because it just screams St. Ives um, exfoliator to me. <laughs> Does it you? Um, I'm unsure. I know um, we have done a U-turn. It was literally like the... Um, yeah, I can see them, look. I can see them exactly as you can in the... Um, what's it called? St. Ives exfoliator. Now, I mean... It smells lovely and fresh. Um, I don't know, I'm unsure as to whether, it does feel quite gentle on your skin, but maybe um, it's one for the body rather than the face. I will give it the benefit of the doubt and see what I think, but I don't know, we'll see. Next up is a product that isn't on my product card and it is the Percy Reed London hold it right there stronghold hairspray and it is 50 mil and retails for seven pounds so i've used percy reed products for a while now and i do really like them i use their wonder oil and i'm really excited to give this a go i'm gonna pop this in my handbag i've been looking for a silicon and sulfate free hairspray for the longest time and I couldn't find one. And now I've been sent one by Glossy Box, amazing. So it says, our ultra fine humidity resistant mist gives you a satisfying, flexible, yet reassuringly firm hold, which is completely invisible to the eye. Without any stickiness, frizz is no match for this hairspray. This magic marvel also includes a heat protection, meaning you can apply before using heated tools to set the hold into the hair. Wow, that is so cool. Um, so your style lasts even longer. It also has the added benefit of being brushable. So you can style and restyle to your heart's content, just like the professionals. Wow, that sounds incredible. And that is everything that I have been looking from a hairspray recently. So I'm really excited to try this and something that I will definitely be repurchasing if it does perform. So I will report back on that one. Really looking forward to giving it a go. And the sixth and final product, I actually didn't realise that um, we had more than five items this month. So this is the More Is More Judith Lieber For Her. And 
I am so happy to see fragrance in glossy box. Now, I know we had one a couple of boxes ago. Um, I think it was the one in the Starburst box and I really did not like it and I'm gutted, but I really didn't. Um, so I'm holding out for this one. This one looks really good. And one thing I will say, they have also sent a little card in with it. So you can enjoy 25% if you do go on to purchase this product. So inside are three little perfumes and this retails for £115 for 75ml or this little treat um, with the tiny, I think they're one and a half mil each one. Is that it? One and a half mil? They look bigger than that. So um, this is worth £9, this little like tester set. So I had a little sneak peek at this before and I thought, oh, three perfumes, how nice. And then I actually reread it and I thought, what a clever idea. So it's three fragrances that you can wear alone or mix together. So I don't know if you can see that there, but it explains the three different fragrances and then shows them overlapping as to what they'd be like if you mix them. So the first one we have is more gourmand, which is rich and gourmand. So it says that it is a black currant absolute and mandarin oil, gingerbread accord, rose oil and cashmere wood and vanilla. And the second one is called more zest. So that one is bergamot oil, grapefruit, sandalwood oil and cedar oil with oris concrete, which I don't know what that is, and peony. That one sounds like it's going to be me. Although I do love that first one. It's a beautiful... Really beautiful scent. Mmm, that's nice. Oh, I can't decide. I'm not sure if the first one I sprayed is mixing with like the truffle exfoliator. Let me um, spray it on. Yeah, I think I prefer the second one so far. And the third and final one is called More Floral. So I imagine this one is gonna be probably the favorite amongst most people. So this is mandarin oil, pink pepper, patchouli oil, um, coconut wood, orchid, and lang. So let's try this one. Mmm, that one's really, really nice. I can't decide, like I don't think I've ever um, tried a whole perfume range where I like every single one. Um, I think this is really versatile and going to um, appeal to most people. I'm just trying to mix them now. So I've just mixed number two and number three. Hmm. Let me try number one on top of there as well. Ooh, they smell really good mixed together. Really, really nice. So I have just had a look online and they do sell this little discovery set to buy along with a men's version. I am 100% getting these for my friends for Christmas and I'm gonna get one for Gavin as well to try out. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you could please hit the like and the subscribe button below, that would be amazing. And also make sure you ring the bell so that you stay up to date with all my latest videos and stay up to date with everything that's going on on my channel. But for now, I will see you soon. Bye.